Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Online Sunday School. It's lovely that you've joined uh, with us uh, this morning. Uh, particularly, I'd like to welcome those of you that normally would join us at Rossay Road uh, Providence Baptist Chapel Sunday School. Obviously, we're sad that we still can't join uh, with you uh, physically at the chapel, but we are pleased that you've joined us online for Sunday School this morning. We'd also welcome anyone that's joined with us from other churches and chapels across the UK. It's lovely to hear from you all, and thank you again uh, for supporting and joining with us for Online Sunday School. Also, a very warm welcome to anyone that's come for the very first time to Online Sunday School. We're ever so pleased week by week to have new people join with us and um, thank you for um, seeing the various adverts we place on Facebook and other groups. We're really pleased that you have joined with us this morning. As this is our special time for online Sunday school, we ask that you would um, turn off anything that would um, potentially distract you. So if you've got a television on in the background, if you could just turn that off uh, for now so that it's a quiet time so we can concentrate as we join for Sunday School. Also again, thank you to any grown-ups that have joined uh, with your children this morning. Again, uh, we'd encourage you to uh, sit with them and encourage them along to join in uh, at the various points in Sunday School this morning. So this morning we're going to sing our first hymn, which is, uh, here we go, Who Put the Colours? In the rainbow. Now, I was particularly thinking about this hymn for actually the first line in verse 2. Who put the gold into the sunshine? Now, um, many of you have probably had very good weather. We've had very good weather here in Bedford, and um, the sun is shining this morning, and it's been wonderful to see the sunshine. And um, this hymn asks a question Who put the gold into the sunshine? And also the next question, who put the sparkle in the stars? And at night time, you may be looking up at the sky with these clear nights and see all those millions of stars. Obviously, they do come out quite late at the moment, so you might be in bed before you see them. But in, in the uh, winter months, you might see those stars at night. And actually, I don't know if some of you were watching it online last night, but we saw in America, they set that rocket off into space. And um, they were um, cheering and uh, pleased that man had got this new rocket with um, people in it, astronauts, going into space. And man thinks he's very clever and thinks, well, we've done these wonderful things. But compared to the greatness of the universe, really, uh, where, where these um, astronauts are going is only just outside uh, just outside the Earth. It's actually still in the Earth's orbit. So it's not really that far compared to the greatness of the universe. And sadly, man thinks that God doesn't exist or tries to think that God doesn't exist and will say, well, these things happened by chance. And it was a big bang millions and billions of years ago and that the world and the universe evolved into what it is today. But the Bible in Genesis chapter 1 clearly says in the beginning God. God was there before the earth was created. And in six days God created this wonderful world that we live in. And then this hymn really reminds us from the smallest thing, from the, the honey bee, right through to the stars, those giant superstars, God made all of these. So we're going to play a short introduction to our hymn, um, Who Put the Colours in the Rainbow? And then we're all going to join in here uh, and you can join in at home. Who made you and me? Who put the 
หอมพึ่งพมกระทำโอ Who put the net upon the drop Who put the sail upon the mast Who made hyenas stop Who made whales and whales and whales Who made hogs and dogs and frogs Who made bats and rats and cats Now we come to our prayer time in Sunday school and we remember the prayer code as we come to the Lord in prayer. So we do not talk. We close our eyes as we pray and I'd ask you all to listen as we pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank thee again for this time that we are joined together for online Sunday school. And O oh Lord, as we have just sung about all those wonderful things that we see around us and that reminder that God created all of these things. It wasn't by chance that these wonderfully designed things came into being, but it was by thy almighty wisdom and by thy creation that these things happened. And, O oh Lord, as we think about this earth that thou didst create, Lord, we know that not long into uh, the creation of the world that Adam and Eve fell into sin. And, O oh Lord, because of that, the, thy perfect creation was um, damaged uh, by sin. And, Lord, even to this day, we see the effects of sin. But, Lord, we thank thee in thy kindness that thou didn't leave us there to... Um, uh, to suffer punishment because of sin. But Lord, through thy Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, thou didst make a way of salvation by sending the Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, to be born as a child at Bethlehem. And he grew up to be a, a teenager and then an adult, but lived a perfect sinless life. But we read that cruel hands laid him on a cross, and in thy almighty plan, this was always to happen, that Jesus would die on the cross to save his people from their sin. And, O oh Lord, we thank thee that Jesus Christ rose again on the third day. Lord, we thank thee for a risen Saviour. We thank thee for that sacrifice to pay the punishment for our sin. We thank thee for that Jesus is a substitute that he took our place uh, there on the cross and bore uh, the sin and the, uh, the punishment that we uh, deserve to be punished for. And, O oh Lord, we thank thee that uh, this happened. And we pray that the Lord Jesus Christ may be a saviour to each child that is listening this morning. Lord, we pray for each one. We pray for their homes. And we pray that the glorious good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ may shine into each of their souls and that they may follow the Lord Jesus Christ personally as their Saviour. O oh Lord, we uh, think now particularly of the reason why we are having to join together online. Lord, we know that um, it's still not safe to meet because of this virus. Lord, we are pleased to see as it seems at the moment that the the effects of the virus are, are slowing down in this country. But Lord, we pray that 
So I would just continue to, um, uh, we would continue to follow thy way and leadings in this matter. And we pray that soon it will be possible again to meet again for Sunday school. O oh Lord, we pray again for the leaders in our land, our Prime Minister and the government. We pray that at this time they will still be given wisdom. Lord, we are sad to, saddened to see that they don't acknowledge Thee or, and they make, um, they make decisions based on their own thoughts and understanding. But Lord, we pray that they may put their trust into the one true God who knows all things. Lord, we pray for other people and children across the world that are affected still by this virus. We see countries like Russia and Brazil and um, Central America where they still have a high number of cases. And we pray particularly for children and thy people in those countries that are affected at this time. Lord, we pray again for uh, the gospel and the preaching of thy word today. We pray for those ministers that uh, faithfully will preach thy word. Lord, uh, though they can't again meet in chapels and churches in their normal way, Lord, do help them as they uh, preach online. We particularly pray for our pastor, uh, Oliver Winkle, uh, today. Lord, help him uh, mightily as he preaches uh, thy word to us. And may uh, many come in and watch these uh, online services. And again, may many hear the gospel and live and be saved. Lord, we again pray for each child that as they look into thy word, and Lord, may they not be as the people were in Jeremiah's day, that they heard the word but ignored it and um, tried to uh, run away from God and ignored uh, what was being said. Lord, may we never be like that to ignore the word of God, and may we trust in God and follow him and trust and obey. Lord, do be with us now and bless us as we ask these things, pleading the forgiveness of all our sin. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We shall now say the Lord's Prayer. You can join in at home with us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Right, I'm going to hand over now to Kelly to take the memory verse. Well, good morning, everybody. Nice to have you with us again. Hope you're all keeping well. Now, this week we're starting a new memory verse, and it is taken from Jeremiah. We've been learning lots from the book of Jeremiah from our lessons over the past few weeks. So this is from Jeremiah, and as you can see here, it's Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 24. Now we're going to read this together and get used to our new memory verse and then we'll start taking some of the words away like we usually do. So let's read it together nice and loud, everyone together and Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Says the Lord do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 24. Lovely. Well, you'll notice some sentences there. There are certain type. Can you think of what type of sentences we were just saying? Do you tell your adult or who's with you at home? Well, hopefully you've all told them that they're questions. And you can tell that because they've got question marks at the end. They're asking something. And over the next few weeks, we'll think about what it's asking and what the answers are to that. 
So we're going to take some of the words away, only four to begin with, and you will notice a picture is being revealed. And when you spot what that picture is, maybe you could let your adult know at home. So there we go. Hopefully you can guess that quite quickly without any more um, rectangles being revealed. So let's read it again from the beginning and read those words where there's missing words there, okay? Can, Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Says the Lord, do not I fill heaven and earth? Says the Lord, Jeremiah chapter 23 Verse 24. Now hopefully you've all told people at home what you think the picture is, but I'm not going to say it yet just in case you've not worked it out. So let's take some more words away. Now we're going to see if maybe here we, we won't say those words that are missing and we'll let you just say them at home, okay? So we're not going to say those words, everybody here. So let's go from the beginning again. Can any hide himself in secret places that shall not see him? Do fill heaven and earth. Jeremiah chapter 23 Verse 24. Brilliant. Well done, everybody. And let's take some more away. Now you can really see what's being revealed there. So if you haven't yet told your adult, do so now. And then we're going to go from the beginning. This time, I think we'll join in with all the words, everybody. Okay? So. Can any hide himself in secret places? That I shall not see him, saith the Lord. Do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 24. Brilliant. And thank you to those of you who are messaging on this so we can see your answers. And well done. It is our planet. It's the Earth that we can see. And if you look where the word secret would be, you can see the UK there and lots of Europe. So let's have another go. Take some more away. OK, the first word has gone. I think this time we'll still join in with all of them because we're still learning it here. So we want to join in with most of the words this week. OK, let's go from the top. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 23 Verse 24. Fantastic. You're all doing really, really well. So let's have another go. More words have gone. Not many left. Okay. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, says the Lord? Do not I fill heaven and earth, says the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 24. Brilliant. So, just a few words left. Let's go from the beginning. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Says the Lord. Do not I fill heaven? And earth, saith the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 24. Now let's take all the words away and see if we can remember it. Off we go. 
can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord. Do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 23 Verse 24. Now you've done really, really well there. There's all the words back again so you can see them over the earth. Now next week we will discuss who's asking these questions. We will talk about what some of them mean as well next week and in the coming week. So well done for that. If you can repeat that each day this week, that would be even better. If you want to refer to your Bible, if you've got a TBS Bible at home, you can turn to page 727. So if you've got one with you now, turn to that page, pop a bookmark in there, and then you can keep referring to that over this week. And by next Sunday, you'll be fantastic at reading this verse without even looking. So well done. So just a reminder, page 727 in your PBS Bibles. Okay, so if you can actually, once you've found the memory verse, uh, in chapter 23 on page 727. Then if you go back a few chapters to page 717 in your Sunday School TBS Bibles to Jeremiah chapter 13, that's where we're going to take our lesson from today. So if you can find that, Jeremiah chapter 13, and we're going to start reading from verse 1. Okay, so if you could uh, read along with me at home, and then you can understand more when the lesson, you watch the lesson later. So Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 1. Thus saith the Lord unto me, Go and get thee a linen girdle, or belt, and put it upon thy loins, or put it around your waist, and put it not in water. So I got a girdle according to the word of the Lord, and put it on my loins. And the word of the Lord came unto me the second time, saying, Take the girdle that thou hast got, which is upon thy loins, and arise, go to Euphrates, and hide it there, in a hole of the rock, or a hole in the rock. So I went, and hid it by Euphrates, as the Lord commanded me. And it came to pass, after many days, that the Lord said unto me, Arise, go to Euphrates, and take the girdle from thence, which I commanded thee to hide there. Then I went to Euphrates, and digged, and took the girdle from the place where I had hid it. And behold, the girdle was marred, or it was ruined. It was profitable for nothing. It was good for nothing. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Thus saith the Lord, After this manner will I mar, ruin the pride of Judah, and the great pride of of Jerusalem. This evil people, which refuse to hear my words, which walk in the imagination of their heart, and walk after other gods, to serve them, and to worship them, shall even be as this girdle, which is good for nothing. Now I'd ask if you turn, go down to verse 15. Hear ye, and give ear. Be not proud, for the Lord hath spoken. Give glory to the Lord your God, before he cause darkness, and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. And while ye look for light, he turn it into the shadow of death, and make it gross darkness. But if ye will not hear it, my soul shall weep or cry in secret places for your pride, and mine eyes shall weep sore, 
and run down with tears because the Lord's flock is carried away captive. Say unto the king and to the queen, Humble yourselves, sit down, for your principalities or your rule shall come down, even the crown of your glory. The cities of the south shall be shut up, and none shall open them. Judah shall be carried away captive, all of it. It shall be wholly or completely carried away captive. Now after this online Sunday school, you can go to our website, providencechapel.org.uk forward slash Sunday school. And there you'll see the lesson for the 31st of May, Jeremiah and the Linen Belt. And if you watch the YouTube video lesson that Myrtle has produced, you'll understand more about the passage we read and this um, Linen Belt and what it speaks about from Jeremiah. Now, once you've watched the online lesson, underneath the video uh, link, you'll find um, various activity worksheets which can be downloaded for your suggested age group. So if you go there, you can click the link and um, you can download the lesson um, a worksheet to view there. So if you could do that. And also there's a colouring sheet for the younger ones that aren't able to do the worksheets. And if you can send those to us at Sunday School at providencechapel.org.uk, the Sunday School teachers are really pleased to receive those. So thanks again for sending those to us. If you uh, haven't um, got access to a scanner, if you take a photograph or even tell us the words, uh, whatever you can do to get us back your worksheets, we're really pleased to hear from you. I just ask if you could try and get them back to us by 6 p.m. on uh, next Saturday evening so that we can make sure we can update your name on the list of worksheets and um, we can get those on here for next Sunday morning. So I'm going to hand over to Kelly now to go through those completed worksheets from last Sunday. Okay, so well done to so all these people who completed last week's sheet. So they are Micah, Katie, Tommy, Andrew, Ian, James, Primrose, William, Jessica, Thomas, Edward, Joshua, Emma, Charlie, Harry, Nathan, Leah, Susie, Blessie, Crazy, Nathan, Susanna, Emily, Jonathan, Emmanuel, Noah, Amelia, Florence, Sienna, Orlando, Joshua, Thomas, Caitlin, Sophie, Emily, Louisa, Millie, Harry, Jacob, Tom, Sam, Izzy, Matthew, Joshua, Luke, Thomas, Harry, Headley, Chloe, Phoebe, Kezia, Joanna, Jemima, Jessica, and Tyone. And then we have a few extras that came in last minute, so we haven't been able to add you on to this, but I can read out your name. So well done to Phoebe, Zach, Amelia and Eddie. So well done to all of you for getting those sheets in. And this week we have three birthdays coming up. So tomorrow Emily celebrates her birthday. On Tuesday it's Keith's birthday. And on Friday, Blessie. So I do wish you all a very happy birthday from all of us here at Sunday School. Really hope you have a lovely day. Now this week we have some prize winners. These are for the people who have completed eight worksheets. So well done to Andrew, Primrose, Leah and Susie. So keep completing the sheets. Go back onto um, our website so you can look at previous worksheets and lessons and complete those if you haven't done so. And then you can send as many in as possible. So well done everybody. Yeah, well done. Thank you for sending those to us. So our final hymn for online Sunday School this morning um, reminds us that following the Lord may not always be easy. And it really reminds us quite, um, quite clearly, actually, about Jeremiah's life because Jeremiah sometimes was quite alone. He was uh, known as the weeping prophet. He was um, crying a lot because he was always alone and the people didn't listen to what he had to say. And he had a lot of opposition and enemies and dangers that he had to deal with day by day. But uh, the Lord was with him and he trusted and obeyed in the Lord. So Jeremiah could have sung this hymn if it was um, around in his day, 
and he could say that um, this hymn and trusting in the Lord and obeying the Lord was true for him in his life. And it reminds us that um, if we put our trust in the Lord Jesus, we might have people that we know, um, uh, people, at, children at school that might uh, point us and give us uh, and say uh, names because we uh, trust in God and might think that we're old-fashioned or, or might say things that are not nice. But we need to remember that if we trust in the Lord, which is the best thing we can do, he is, as well as our saviour, he's our friend. And the Lord will be with us and uh, help us. And God promises to take care of his people and that he will be with us forever and ever. So even one day when we die, that we will be with him in heaven forever and ever. So it's right that we sing this hymn. It reminds us of Jeremiah. But also it's a promise to um, us and it reminds us that we should put our trust and uh, obedience in the Lord Jesus Christ. So again, we're going to have a short introduction to this hymn and um, you can then sing uh, along at home uh, as we're going to sing here. There's a fight to be fought. Jesus, we thank thee again for this online Sunday school time. And, O oh Lord, as we have learned in that last hymn to trust and obey, Lord, may each of the children here learn to trust and obey in the Lord Jesus Christ. And, O oh Lord, as we've had that reminder that the Lord is everywhere, that they can pray to him wherever they are, the Lord is there, and it's wonderful to know that wherever we are, the Lord is with us. Lord, we pray particularly for any of our children that return back to school this coming week. Lord, do watch over them, protect them and keep them safe, uh, we pray, and bless them each. And Lord, do bless all the children. Uh, now we ask these things, plead in the forgiveness of all our sin. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Okay, so now if you could go to our website, providencechapel.org.uk forward slash Sunday School, you'll see there the lesson for this week, Jeremiah and the Linen Belt. I would encourage you to sit down carefully and watch the lesson. Don't just go ahead and rush and do the worksheet. Make sure you uh, watch the lesson because there's more on the lesson than perhaps just the passage that we read through this week. Also, on our website, you can access our YouTube channel, um, which, again, has access to our other online Sunday schools from previous weeks. And also, you can access our um, services, uh, which we have. And we have at 11 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. our live stream services, where our pastor, Oliver Winkle, will be leading uh, the services there. So, again... We'd encourage you um, and the grown-ups to uh, also watch those as well. 
And next Lord's Day at 9.15, God willing, we'll have online Sunday school again, which you can access at join.me forward slash PBC Bedford. So uh, again, I'd like to uh, thank you for joining us this morning and trust that the Lord will bless you in the week ahead. So goodbye. Bye. Bye.